Good Friday evening to you ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty 78609 in Fort Clark Springs, Texas on a warm day and this says I make beer, beer, beer disappear. What's your superpower? <laughs> or something like that. I can't read it upside down. Cute, huh? Somebody sent me this shirt and I thought I'd wear it today for a Beer 30 Sanity Session since it's been a stressful week for all of us, especially me. My blood pressure went up a half a point. I don't have any stress. No kidding at all. I live a very contented, chilled out lifestyle, but I do it intentionally. I don't do it by accident. So, I hope all of you have had a pretty good week. I'm going to try to make this one disappear, but not too fast. Here's to you, here's to me. Should we ever disagree? Here's to the. <laughs> mm. Sanity session, ladies and gentlemen. A plain old short Friday evening sanity session. And uh, guys, I got to tell you. You know, the older you get, I mean, you won't believe the things you do. I mean, I promise you, you won't. I mean, you'll think, you know, and everybody think, talks about Alzheimer's and all kind of crap. Forget that shit. Just normal aging, your memory goes poo-poo, okay? You know, now Alzheimer's, you know, your brain actually deteriorates and all that stuff. That's a little different or it's much worse. But anyway, normal aging, you still have your memory issues okay and I'll give you an example today I was gonna go I thought well I'm gonna run down to the local pizza place and get me a Friday night pizza I mean well I wasn't gonna eat the whole pizza because what I do is I get the pizza and get eight slices and make eight meals out of it so anyway I put on my prettiest little shirt there my little button-up shirt and, and uh, I looked in the little thing where my money and my credit cards were and they weren't there I thought well dad gum I said well you know I had on these same shorts and uh, you know so it's not here I, damn it and I thought maybe I left it at the store this morning and all that stuff well what it was and I didn't know I'd done it when I put on my blue button up shirt it has a po upper pocket here it's a fishing shirt well I picked up my credit cards and my money and I put it inside that pocket like I always do but I'd already done it and I didn't remember it Okay, so then I almost panicked, and then I accidentally, I thought, well, hell, let me check. There it was. But anyway, those are the silly things that happen. Then I go to the pizza place here in Brackettville, <clears throat> pull in the front. A sign there says, closed for remodeling. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You're closed? You know, it's really only the pizza, the only pizza place in town unless you go to the grocery store and get a frozen one and heat it up. And I don't really, well, I mean, I'll do them. I'll do those if I have to, if I really want one. But then it occurred to me, bing, they have a subway here. They do, they have a subway. So I went to the subway and they have those little individual pizzas. They're about, about like this. You know, they cut them into four slices and they're pretty good. You know, you can add bacon. I added bacon, pepperoni. I didn't add extra cheese, but I added, you know, like jalapeno, black olives, uh, banana peppers and I put, had to put spinach on top and then plenty of cheese and stuff yeah and, and they, they heat it there and melt the cheese and put it in that little box and away you come so I've got one slice now sitting on my little iron skillet covered waiting to be heated for my supper how about that so with that in mind what is your superpower is that what it says yeah what's your superpower making blunts disappear <laughs> here's to you guys whatever you do do well skull mm. something else i did just for one of my spearmints you know i'm planning on getting a new roof right and i was locked in on that copper color i mean man i just i wanted a copper colored roof you know that metallic copper cover because it looks so rich and so anyway, I drove around in the area here and I found two that had that copper colored roof. I didn't realize how dark a color that is. Okay, well you don't want a dark colored roof here. 
So anyway, I drove around and I found, I thought, well, let's look for the, instead of looking at the copper colored roof, let's see what we can find for the lightest colored roof that reflects the most heat. Now, I don't know how many of you are, of you are aware how much difference the color of a car or a roof makes as far as heat, all right? For example, you have a black car in Texas on a 105 degree day and you put your hand on the hood, you're gonna hear it sizzle, okay? Now on the other hand, she had warts, but on the other hand, if you had a white car in the same temperature and you put your hand on the hood, it, it'd be 105 or 108 degrees. So, <clears throat> I called the roofing company and I got the girl on the phone and I said, but have y'all ordered the roofing material for my job yet? No, we we order I'll make we do all the orders on Monday, and I said, well, good, because I want to change that. What is the lightest color metal roof you sell? And she said, well, we have a uh, the brightest white we have is polar white, and I said, well, that's what I want. I want polar white. So, for those of you that were excited about the copper roof, now you got to get excited again about the copper colored roof, I mean the white roof, white, polar white. So, am I glad I did it? Sure I'm glad, because you know, when you lock in something in your mind, particularly your old mind, it's just hard to change it. You know, it's like a rock coming down a mountain, it doesn't want to change direction, it wants to go to the bottom and that's it, you know. So anyway, I'm glad I did that. And uh, so that's done, got that straightened out. But what what that brings to it, the bring, are you going to get to this, Rusty? Yes. The point I'm trying to make is <clears throat> whenever you buy a home, I just happened to buy a tiny home, you know, like 500 square feet, and, and I knew when I bought it but I, that it was a fixer upper. Okay, I knew that. I knew, it, I knew it needed some stuff done. But the reason I bought it was because, hell, just having a covered place for an RV and a full hookup is worth $40,000 to me or whatever I ended up paying. I paid a little more than that, not much. <clears throat> but anyway, I thought, well, hell, then I can spend a little money fixing it up if I need to, but I thought, well, hell, I'll just live in the RV anyway, and I did for quite a while. And it hadn't even been a year yet, but it's gonna be a year in November. So, uh, but anyway, so I knew, I got to look in here, uh, well, in, no, in, in November, December, January while I was here, I made a list of some of the things that if, if I really wanted to live here, some of the things that I would probably need to get done. And uh, of course, one of them was the roof. That was the first thing I wanted to get done. Well, actually not that wrong backup. The first thing I wanted to get done was the electrical because you couldn't use any of the, well, you could use the outlets in the house, but sometimes they'd short out and blow, you know, blow the feet or uh, break or whatever. And uh, so, uh, I did, I got somebody, I got a, a certified or master electrician out here, the only one in town, took a while to get him. But yeah, he, he got it all done, and that cost me a few thousand dollars, I want to tell you, because we, we, we did everything, we did everything new. Everything's up to code. I mean, got a 200 amp service and all that stuff, and everything works perfectly, and it is so enjoyable. I don't have to worry about burning the house down, so to speak, so that's one. So you fix her up, or dreamers, uh, that's one thing, and, you know, it's nice to have a list of things to get done and then finding somebody to do them is next. Speaking of doing things, here's to me. Mm. Good. I turned my refrigerator down a little bit so the beer would be a little cooler, colder, and uh, now I'm probably going to turn it back. <laughs> Too tight, thinking, thinking about all that money wasted. But anyway, enough said. What else? Roof. That's uh, the electrical, then roof, roof. And uh, and I was a little scared to get a quote on the roof because I thought, man, that's going to be expensive. And uh, and it is. I mean, it, it, it's over $5,000 for that. And uh, But, 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 all those little things that I've added, I promise you they will pay me back. In other words, I, I, if I ever decided to sell, uh, you can get your money back uh, out of those, okay? And, and probably more. But yeah, fortunately, I found somebody to do the roof uh, fairly uh, right away, and it's well. I mean, it's going to be a couple, maybe two or three weeks before they get to it, but at least they got me in the queue, so to speak, and so that's good. 
and uh, so that's coming up here by the end of September I should have uh, the roof done and and then the next thing I'm going to do in fact the guy's coming by today and amazingly his mother lives right across the street right over there well two houses down and then across <clears throat> and he comes by to visit her every now and then. he's the only master plumber in this area okay how about that so anyway uh, I, I called left a message he called me back yesterday said he'd be back he's going to come by and visit his mom today and he'd come over and see what I wanted to get done and, and again you know a fixer upper you know you you can patch it you know you like you can do you know like on the electrical I could have shortcut it a little bit and on the roof I could have done you know made some you know they make some sealer and stuff you can shortcut a lot of things and do it cheapo cheapo that's your choice but for me at my age I don't want to have to come back and redo it a few years from now, so I'm doing it the best way I can uh, to give me the longest lasting whatever it is that I can get. So on the plumbing, and the guy that did, I don't know who did the plumbing here, but it's a disaster, okay? <clears throat> I mean, they got PVC running outside, you know, it's crap, you know. And, uh, and then on the inside, I don't know, they must have, they must have liked making connections because there's like a little piece like this and there's a connection on each end and there'll be another piece that goes a little ways with a connection and then a, then a U and then a connection. And I'm thinking, hell, why didn't they just run it, you know, kind of like this, you know what I mean? Never mind. But you get the drift that it was done shoddily, not very well. So uh, I'm going to have the plumber just say, look, I'll say, my, my suggestion is I'm going to say, look, why, why don't we just start from the street, <laughs> you know? And, and, and just do it all over again. You know, just come in with new stuff, pecs and all that stuff, because it's not, you know, the bathroom and the kitchen are right, you know, like they're back to back, so to speak. So there's not that much footage as far as materials. Now labor it might be a little bit, but there's not that much footage for materials. And as far as, uh, you know, cutting holes in the wall and all that stuff we have to, I don't really care. Uh, and then I can patch them. I can patch them with something. <clears throat> I'm sure there's some easy way to patch holes in uh, sheetrock walls. You know what I mean? And so I'll figure that out. But yeah, I'm gonna have him come by. Yeah. And once I get that done, you know, the plumbing all redone, and uh, the, of course the roof and the electrical is redone. Hell, I've, I've basically got a new home. The only thing that I would consider doing after that, and I'd have to be really flush is uh, you know tear all this car there's carpet in the living area and in the bedroom the kitchen is linoleum and the bathroom is a tile <clears throat> but uh, to get this carpet out here I don't, I, it doesn't really bother me and it's fairly I mean not new it's probably 15 years old but you know I vacuumed it and stuff and it's okay I mean and, uh, it didn't uh, it doesn't have any kind of odor you know what I mean like uh, mildew or whatever you know and so that that's going to be, I think, the last thing I do. I mean, if I really, but I, I, I don't think I'll do that. I, I think I'll have a swallow of beer and make it disappear. Here's to you. Mm -hmm. But the point I'm making, trying to make, I just can't get to it, is if you're going to buy a fixer-upper, be prepared to fixer-upper. Now, if, if you are able to do it yourself and you got the materials and the skills and all that stuff, shit, that's a no-brainer, you know. But if you don't, then it ain't a no-brainer. And it's, it's a, it's, it's a brainless because, uh, you know, getting people to do things is a trick. You know, you, you can have the greatest plans in the world, say, okay, I'm going to buy this fixer-upper and I'll have somebody come in and do this, 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 and this. Well, it depends on where you live. If you live in, in uh, Capitan, New Mexico, I doubt that it's going to happen overnight, and it may not happen ever. You know what I mean? And but or in other places, in big cities, you know where these guys are. Well, these guys here are busy. I mean, these are like you know one man businesses. You know they have helpers and stuff, but um, <clears throat> you know they're 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 booked. You know weeks out. You know what I mean it's like you know you can, they, they're they're busy year round and you're lucky to get them when you can you know and, and this is only a two-day job here on my roof so you know that and so they just they'll just come by one weekend and knock that out and 
go to another bigger job, you know. So, but and that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad I'm doing business locally. So, what has that got to do with the price of turnips in Guatemala? Nothing. Nothing, honey. But here's to you. Here's to me. I was not going to tell you this joke, but I am going to tell you this joke now. Why? Because I ain't got nothing else to say. And we got a few minutes left. Anyway, I'll make it. I'll make it quick. Or as quick as I can. It's a long joke, so I can't shorten it too much without it won't be funny. Anyway, and I've told it before. I think I'm pretty sure I have because I've only got about three or four jokes, and and I just tell them over and over and over because I, I assume that we get one new subscriber every now and then, and they ain't heard it. So here we go. Uh, this old these three guys uh, used to go hunting in Alaska or somewhere where it's really cold. They'd hunt moose, elk, or whatever the hell it was, some big animal. And they'd go every year. And they'd been going for about 10 or 12 years. They're good friends, known each other all their lives and all that crap. And they stayed in this little cabin every time and had a you know, fireplace and they'd put, play poker and get drunk and all that shit. So anyway, they go this particular year and they're inside the cabin and they're playing cards and drinking as usual. And, and uh, a little boy named Huck, uh, he, he, he just fell over on the table, he passed out. So the other two guys, you know, they felt pretty good, so they thought, well, they're gonna go out hunting. So, you know, they got their rifles and they went out for a while and they killed a elk or whatever it was and, and the field, they field dressed it and quartered it and brought, you know, brought as much as they could back and they had, you know, they had a, all the intestines in a damn big old sack <clears throat> and stuff, you know, where you field dress it, you know, you take out all the entrails, so to speak. And, uh, and so they had that in a bag and they came back and lo and behold, out face down in the snow, like spread eagle, you know, just face down in the snow, is old Huck. And he's got his, he's got his pants unfastened, they're down around his knees, and, and pant pull, underwear is pulled down. Apparently what happened was he, he, he had to take a shit, or excuse me, he had to poo-poo, or doo-doo, and, uh, and, 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 and he went out and, and he, he squatted down and he just fell over in the snow. And, and luckily he hadn't frozen to death. So anyway, they, they thought, well, poor old Huck. And then they thought, hey, wait a minute, let's do this. So they took those intestines, all those entrails, and, and put them in his underwear, and then pulled his underwear back up, pulled his pants back up, fastened his pants, and then just laid him back down in the snow. And uh, then they went inside the cabin and got some more uh, bags to go get the rest of the animal with. <clears throat> So they, they you know, got the bags and they went back out to get the rest of the meat they quartered up and stuff. And they were gone for about oh, an hour, hour and a half getting that done. And when they came back, they opened the cabin door and there's old Huck. He's sitting in a rocking chair with a little stick in his hand and he's just rocking back and forth, pale as a ghost. And he's just sitting there. And, and one of them said, hey Huck, damn man, what, what happened to you? He said, you're not going to believe it. You're not going to believe this story, but I'm going to tell you. When you guys left the first time, or left to go out hunting, uh, I woke up, and man, I had like diarrhea, man. So I, and I went out to take a crap, and, and I passed out and fell in the snow. And, uh, and I woke up, and I, and I, and I, took, my, and I, no, I took my pants down, and, and every, all my insides, all, all of my insides had come out, but it, but it, and there it was in my underwear. But he said, by the grace of God, in this little stick, I got every damn bit of it back in. Here's to you guys. That'll help you stay sane. I hope. <laughs> but can you imagine? What he thought when he saw, never mind. But he got it back. Way to go up. Anyway, guys, from Fort Clark Springs on a Friday evening, Beer 30 Sanity Session, this is Rusty78609. Say, thumbs up. Carpe diem, adios, bye, 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 anything you want. Use the Amazon link. Keep your health. Do whatever you got to do to stay sane and healthy in a crazy-ass world. Okay? Anyway, guys, enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Hook. <laughs>